Hey there, my name is Steve and I'm the head of community for Pinata. And today I'm going to show you how you can programmatically mint an NFT using Pinata and CrossMint. This has a lot of wide applications because you can use this in loads of different types of decentralized apps, such as maybe a minting platform or maybe a marketplace with a minting functionality. There's just a lot of cool things you can do. So let's go ahead and dig into it. The first thing you're going to need is a Pinata account, which you can get at app.pinata.cloud. You just go ahead and sign up and get the free account if you'd like. Once you're signed in, you want to go ahead and go to the left side and click on API keys and then click new key. Now, the only two endpoints you really need are pin file to IPFS or pin JSON to IPFS. But typically, I recommend creating an admin key because it produces problems in the future when you're using your key elsewhere. Go ahead and give it a name and hit create key. Then it's going to show you the screen with the API key information. Be sure you go ahead and copy down all of that information you might need. We're going to be using this JWT right here. And yes, don't worry, this key will be deleted before this video is uploaded. The next place you want to go is crossmint.com. And this is where we're going to use our minting API. So go ahead and sign up for an account there and go to the dev console. When you're signing into the dev console, make sure you're signing into staging since we'll be using some test NFTs. Once you're logged in the dev console, you can go to API keys right here and click new API key. We we'll want to go ahead and only select the NFT.mint, create key. And you want to go ahead and copy down the project ID and the client secret as well. Now that we have all of our API keys ready to go and our account set, we can go ahead and start doing the code for this project. So you want to go to your terminal and go ahead and make a new directory. You make directory and call it NFT Mint. See into it. And from here, we want to go ahead and install some packages that we're going to need. So we're going to do npm install form data dot env and node fetch. And for this one, I would recommend doing at 2.6.1 just to avoid some problems and do fs once we have those installed we're going to go ahead and do touch index.js and touch env so we have those we can go ahead and open it up with our code editor of choice now that we have our folder open we're going to go ahead and go to the env file here and we're going to type in a few things. First thing is going to be all caps pinata t equals. And then we'll do cross mint project ID. And then we'll do cross mint client secret equals. And then from here, you want to go ahead and paste in the API keys that you had earlier. And remember that the Pinata JWT is the really long API key that you received. Once you save that file, you'll also want to go ahead and drop in the picture that you're going to be using to upload or the file that you want to use for your NFT. I'm going to go ahead and drop in a picture of Pinny. And there we go. Very nice. Love to see it. Now we're going to go ahead and go to our index.js file. We're going to go ahead and start coding this thing up. First thing we want to do is go ahead and import all of our packages. So we're going to do const Form data equals require form data. Const fs equals require fs. We'll do const fetch equals require node fetch. And then lastly, we'll do require dot env dot config. And there we go. Let's go ahead and start writing up our first function. So to do this project, we're going to basically have three main functions. First one's going to upload our image and return the CID. Second one is going to take the CID from our image and upload it with our metadata. And then the last one is going to mint the NFT with the metadata that we uploaded. So it's a three step process. And then we'll call a function at the bottom that calls all those together. So first to start, we'll do const upload file equals async file. Go ahead and open this up. In here, I'm just going to go ahead and do a try catch. So that way, if something goes wrong, we get an error. 
And from here, I'm going to go ahead and declare a new variable called data. So we do const data equals new from data. And this is basically going to allow us to attach things to our API call. And then we're going to go ahead and start appending stuff. So data.append. I'm going to call this file. And from here, we're going to do a fs8 read stream. And just pass in the file from the argument in our function here. We're going to pass in. And then we're going to do data.append. And this is going to be pinata metadata. Now this pinata metadata is primarily just so we can identify it in our pinata account later. Um, so we can see, oh, this is the file we uploaded from you know, this project earlier. It has nothing to do with the actual NFT metadata. So just keep that in mind. I'm just going to change this to any NFT image. There we go. That's looking good. And now we can actually go ahead and start doing the API call itself. So we'll do const res equals await fetch. And the URL is going to HTTPS API at pinata.cloud pin file to IPFS. And let's see here, do comma, open it up. And in here we're going to do method post. And we're going to do headers. We're going to pass in our authorization. That will do our API key. And we're basically, we're going to do uh, backticks and do bear. And then we're going to process our .env. Yada JWT. It's going to pass in our API key there. And then in the body, we're going to pass in our data. After we get our file, we're going to go ahead and log it out and get the data from it. So we're going to do res data await res.json. And so this is going to take the data from our API call and make sure that we grab it and turn it into usable JSON. And from there, we're going to go ahead and do console.log file uploaded CID. And then we're going to do res data.ipfs hash and then we're going to return res data ipfs hash so let's go ahead and try this out we'll do upload file pass in penny.png save it and we're going to go ahead and call this in go node index.js and there we go we have our cid for our file it's all good Let's go ahead and go to the next step. So the next step is going to be declaring our metadata upload function. So we're const upload metadata. It's going to be the metadata for our NFT. And that means it's going to pass in actually quite a different, a lot of different things. We're going to pass in the name that we're going to want for the NFT description, external URL. And we're also going to pass in the CID for the image or file that we're going to use. And we're going to go ahead and do another try catch here. Or air down here. And then inside of here, we're going to go do something similar to what we did before. Um, but what's interesting about this one is that we're going to use a different endpoint called pin JSON to IPFS. So instead of trying to create a JSON file, we can actually just upload the raw JSON, which is going to be really, really handy. So we'll do const data equals JSON dot stringify. And open that up. And here we just go ahead and pass in name, name, description, description, external URL, external URL. And we're just basically passing everything on through. And then the image is going to be a little bit different. We're going to do backticks IPFS colon slash slash dollar sign brackets and pass in our CID here. Once we have that, we can go ahead and start doing our API call. So we're going to do const res equals await fetch API to pinata cloud slash pinning slash in JSON to IPFS. And let's see here. 
this way so I don't lose track. Do method post. And headers, we're gonna add in just a little bit extra this time. We're gonna do a content type equals application slash JSON. And then we're gonna do our authorization like we did before. Pass that in. And then the body will pass in our data. And we're gonna handle that request and do res data equals await res.json. And then we'll do a console log. Submitted, uploaded. The idea is res data slash IPFS hash, just like we did before, just handling that data. And then we're going to return that same hash as well. We're going to use that in our next function. So we got that all set up. Now we're going to go ahead and do our last function, which is to go ahead and do the minting of the NFT. So we're going to do const mint NFT it's async. And we're going to pass in two things here. We're going to pass in the CID for the metadata. We're also going to pass in a wallet address that we're going to mint the NFT to. Do another try catch. And inside of here, we're going to do another thing that we just did earlier, which is going to do const data equals json.stringify. And this is going to take uh, basically two pieces of data. First thing it's going to take is the recipient. And the way that you pass this in, you're basically going to declare the chain that you're going to be using, or if you're going to be using email, and then you're going to pass in the address or email address. So for here, we're going to add do polygon and then colon. And this is where we're going to pass in our wallet. I need to change that to backticks. Let's replace that back here. There we go. Our backticks, comma. And then the last thing we're going to do is pass in the metadata URL. Let's do metadata. And then here, we're going to go ahead and actually do a gateway link just so Crossman can handle it. So we get pinata. Gateway.pinata.cloud slash IPFS. Dollar sign curly braces CID, pass that in. There we go. Now it's time to go ahead and call the API. So we're going to do const res equals await fetch. And that's going to be the URL there. And we're going to go ahead and open this up. Do method post. And then headers. We'll do a couple different things. We'll do content type application.json. Also going to do accept application json and for our authorization it's going to be a little bit different we're going to do x project id get that spelling right id and we're going to do the similar thing we do process .env crossment project id and we're going to do x client secret and do the same thing there. And we'll close up our headers. And then we need to attach our data. And now we're going to go ahead and go into how we handle this. We're going to do something a little bit different here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and grab the smart contract address with the API response data that we have here. So we're going to do const contract address equals actually here let's go ahead and get our data first res data equals wait data.json and this is going to be res data dot on chain dot contract address and now we can use this variable in some of our logs so we could say console log nft minted contract address to pass that in and we'll also do another link so you can say C NFT. Oh wait, let's do backticks actually. C NFT at HTTPS testnets dot open C dot IO. Do assets. This 
is on polygons. So we're gonna do Mumbai. And we'll pass in the contract address. Take out the token ID there. All right. So we've got everything ready. Now we can actually create our master function that's gonna call all this stuff together. That's gonna be main. We'll do const main equals async. And we're gonna pass all the things in. So we're gonna do name, description, external URL, file, all it. There you go. And from here, we're gonna do const file CID equals await, upload file, we'll pass in our file. We'll do const metadata CID equals await, upload metadata, pass all of that stuff in, and then do await, mint NFT, metadata CID, and wallet. And uh, you know what? Let's actually go ahead and put all this inside of a try catch. There we go. Got all of that in. And now the only thing left to do is call our main function. And let's just start putting everything in. So we're going to say penny NFT. And we'll say penny NFT minted with pinata and cross mint. And we'll go ahead and do Pinata's website as the external URL. And our file, the pass in penny.png. And for our wallet, I happen to have a shortcut on my computer for that. There we go. Now it's all that's left to do is go ahead and call the function. We'll go open up our terminal, do node index.js, upload our file, upload our metadata, and wait for the NFT, which could take just a minute. And there we go. Now let's go ahead and take a look at it. And there we go. There is our penny NFT. Very cool. That about wraps it up for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any thoughts, comments, or questions, feel free to drop a comment down below. And we can't wait to see what you build with Pinata.